back already? Have you even looked for the holocron yet? I have the holocron, Mother. I'm just not sure I want to give it to you. And why not? Would you deny me even that? I've never denied you anything, Mother. You may think I don't remember what it was like before I left for the Order, but I do. You were the one who pushed Father to go on one treasure hunt after the other. You loved living in wealth. You think I don't remember the fights? You were eager to send me to the Jedi even though I didn't want to go. You took Father away from me. And now this holocron is all I have of him. Fool girl. You have a strange way of remembering things. That wasn't... No. I don't wish to argue with you anymore, Mother. It's time we parted ways now, for both our benefit. You don't know her. My mother is notoriously deceptive when she wants something. Why should she have the holocron? Is it too difficult to believe that I am a dying woman who simply wishes to see her husband one last time? I find it difficult to believe anything you say, Mother. You're right. It shames me, but I just I find it difficult to let go of the past. I, I'm sorry, Mother. I was hard on you, dear. I wasn't a very good mother to you. I know that. Your father loved you so. He wanted you to be just like him. He wanted to take you on his hunts, but I said they were too dangerous. I always tried to keep him from the dangerous ones, but he would have none of it. It was a reckless life we led. Always moving. I didn't want that for you. So that's why you gave me to the Order. What do your father and I have to show for all those years of hunting? Nothing. That was no life for anyone. Especially not someone as gifted as you, your father. He spent all his last years trying to pay for my treatments. That's why he went for the pearls. I begged him not to, but... Your treatments? I'm dying, Master. I did not lie about that. It's been a long time in the coming, and there's really nothing that can be done anymore. I told your father to let me go, but you know how he was. Stubborn, like you. I'm so sorry, Mother. I don't know what to say. Keep the holocron, Bastila. It would do me good to know you have it. This talking to you. This is what I really needed before I... I know. Thank you. I'm glad we talked to you. Well, now. You said you had important business, and you were never one to mince words. You there. You take care of my daughter, you hear me? That's it. I'll feel a lot better knowing there's someone to watch her. Where are you going to go? It doesn't matter, dear. Don't you worry about me. Here, take these 500 credits. It's all I have. Go to Coruscant and find a doctor. I'll meet you there after, after what I have to do. But I already told you, there's nothing that can... Please take it. I want to see you again, and then we can talk. All right, I will. You do what you have to, Rasta. You go make your father and I proud. I'll try. Farewell, Mother. How can I help? Yes. It brought me a lot of peace. More than I thought it would have. Thank you for urging me toward it. After all my training, I would have thought it would have been easier. Apparently, I still have much to learn. How can I help? Why? I could not accomplish this on my own. I need the aid of others, especially one who is strong in the Force. The bond between us made you a natural choice. Besides, the events on Taurus proved that the Force wanted to bring us together for this mission. And there is little left to chance when the Force is involved. Is that not enough for you? I said we were brought together for our mission, to stop Malak. I hardly think the Force will be pushing us toward a romantic involvement when the fate of the galaxy is at stake. Please try to stay focused. I doubt the Council would approve if they knew we were busy discussing our mutual attraction when we should be saving the galaxy from Malak. Mutual attraction? I never said... It's just an expression. Whatever our feelings... I mean, whatever your feelings, you have to try to ignore them. Don't let this complicate things. Finding the missing pieces of the star maps is our only hope of locating the Star Forge and defeating Malak. The Council explained all this quite clearly. I admit, there were times that I wondered if this is more than just a mission to stop Malak. There were times when I wondered if this was also a way for the Council to test my own abilities. I wondered if the Council wanted to see how I would help and guide you on our quest. I wondered if they were testing me to see if I was ready to become a Jedi Master myself. 
And then I realized how foolish such thoughts were. As the council explained, sending a master in our group would only have drawn unwanted attention from the Sith. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. The council would not risk it merely to test me. They calculated the risks, and in the end chose the only option available. You must learn to trust in the wisdom of the council. Your destiny will come when it's appointed time. You mustn't be so impatient. Must you be so frustrating? I admit, I had a moment of foolish pride, but I'm over it. Now I am focused on my true responsibilities. I'm simply trying to help you and complete this mission, and yet you battle me at every turn. I started it. You were the one who brought up the issue of the Council. You were the one who questioned our mission. You were the one who mocked me for thinking I was being tested. You, you are a very odd man. Do you know that? I simply don't know how to deal with you. All I want to do is help you, but you seem determined to drive me mad. I don't know if I should be outraged that you keep joking about serious matters, or if I should be grateful that you can always lighten the mood. Come on, come, let's move on. There's much to be done. Kukumo no ba mule ra tikun tong hik kun chunting ne bobo je mata ne punage dulpi kiku ana takom jus tak miki graber mogo kachi ita hotunga runda di hotunga kun hanga bi. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nunotek? Tuk ning chatu kun ne mule rabes. Achuta, unga kun bez dolpi kiku yana. Tung patugas akilea. Greetings again from the offices of Zerga Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? I see that, but do you have the all-important chieftains, Gaffy? That was what you agreed to get for us. Well, that is a very big headache that you've removed. I'm sure there are still sand people out there, but they'll be quieter now. I think I'll give you a bonus for this. You've more than lived up to your side of the bargain. Zerka Corporation thanks you. And I wouldn't want you to leave without this additional reward. Yes, of course I wouldn't. Zerka may be a corrupt organization, but that does not justify us using the Force for personal gain. Oh, 
Is it really you? I heard Taurus was destroyed. I, I thought you were dead. Oh, joy of joys, my little sister is alive. I have to ask you something, Griff. It's important. I ran into Lena. She, she said it was your idea to leave me on Terrace. It isn't true, is it? Uh, well, there's the truth and then there's the truth, you know? I, I always meant to go back to Taurus, sis, just as soon as I had the credits to pay off my debts. But credits have been hard to come by. You mean it's true? It was your idea to leave me there? I'm your sister. How could you abandon me like that? Come on, sis. You didn't need me to look after you anymore. Y you may have been young, but you knew how to take care of yourself. Besides, you're here now. I mean, everything worked out fine. That's it? That's all you have to say to me after all these years after deserting me on Terrace? That and, uh, you look good, sis. <laughs> like you're doing well. Uh, financially, I mean. Uh, say. You think you could spare me a few credits to get back on my feet, do you? I'm... You're hitting me up for credits. I don't believe this. Lena was right about you, Griff. We should have just left you to the sand people. Don't talk to me anymore. Ever. Hmm. That didn't go well. Sis was always a little too fiery for her own good. She'll cool down in time. Ah, uh, she'll be okay. We had our fights before. Too bad, though. I really could have used a helping hand right now. You may have saved my life, but I don't have a single credit to my name. Say, you wouldn't be able to spare me some credits uh, just till I get back on my feet, you know? Huh. I, uh, guess you've been talking to Lena, too. That's okay. I'll figure out a way to get by without your credits. I always do. Besides, uh, I've already got a job lined up for me. Greeted the manager over at the Zerkus supply shop, said I could come work for him if I ever get tired of the mines. Yeah, I think I'll go take him up on his offer. You know, maybe there's something else you can help me with. I need to talk to a guy first and set up the details, but if you're interested in a job, come see me in Greta's shop. Goodbye, Mission. Uh, I'm glad you're not dead. Hmm. Hey there. What can I do for you? Look, I'm happy Griff's alive, but I'm mad at him right now. And I don't know what kind of job he's got for you, but I don't trust him. It's probably just another scam. So, is there anything else you need? Okay, have it your way. the person I was hoping to see. Hmm. Save it, Griff. I'm not talking to you. I want no part of whatever you're involved in. Okay, sis, I see you're still mad. Fair enough. I don't think you could help me with this anyway. It's uh, more of a job for your friend here. As you may know, 
tac glands can be refined to a very potent powder. It's the primary ingredient in Teresian ale. That's what makes it so strong. Of course, now that Taurus is pretty much wiped from the face of the map, Teresian ale has become somewhat scarce and uh, very, very valuable. Luckily, I know the secret recipe. I know this guy. He's with the exchange. Now, if I give him a small sample of Torizian ale, he says he can synthesize it and reproduce it in mass quantities. Problem is, I need one of those tack glands to make the first batch.